What is going on, peeps? What is going on? It's Valerie's Naturals Oracles. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, wherever you are. It's been a long week so far. <laughs> I'm tired already. Today is hump day. Do you know what it is? Hump day is Wednesday. You're kind of like halfway through the week. So it's like today I thought I'm going to do a video especially for, uh, do you know, for, for the for the karmics out there because i've been on this karmic tip all week okay so i might as well just finish it off <laughs> so what i want to know today is is how is this karmic feeling and i'm going to use do you know what their higher self is going to want to say what what they're thinking what they really truly want to say and i'm wondering the spirit is going to tell us going to let us be privy to this information because it's dark and deep isn't it so do you know what i'm thinking i'm thinking people it might be a good thing <laughs> it might be a good thing to actually pray first before we do this so holy spirit holy angels guides beloveds and ancestors thank you for your guidance protection assistance i call on your divine guidance that loves the collective unconditionally please help us with a clear accurate and helpful reading give us the information that will help our most highest self thank you spirit i just needed to say that because all week i'm just thinking i don't want to be in this comics energy but at the same time it's like curiosity killed the cat so let's figure it out shall we holy spirit holy angel and i'm gonna do my favorite spread you can see i've got a little new set up here i just love these i just love to have them there do you know it breaks up the desk doesn't it well i'm gonna get five cards out first of all i'm gonna get five cards out and then what i'm gonna do is is actually figure out where the hell is going on with this karmic so spirit please give us the messages what messages do you have about the karmic so i'm doing the star spread today my favorite so it's card one you're gonna find out with me exactly what this karmic is thinking or what they're feeling what they're to say and i really am gonna have to do an extended on this because this is gonna get deep i just feel it already in my bones okay so let's see so i've got five cards out and i've got them from this deck called the sufi tarot and the sufi tarot is about it's like another system what's at the bottom of the deck the three coins do you know somebody who wants to be do you know somebody who wants to be in partnership now Remember, this is all about the karmics, and we've got to figure out what the karmics got to say, what they're really thinking, what they want to do, their higher self. Is it that they're just being selfish? What is it? You're, you're in tender hooks just like me, so we're going to find out what their true emotions is at the moment. So let's figure it out. Oh, the sultan is number four. Now, number four in the deck, because as you know, it's the magician. Then it's the... I forgotten already because this is a different system, you see. So it's the magician is number two. Number three is the higher... Pre this is the higher... Is this the higher font? Let's check it out. Well, do you know what? This is a new deck for me. And it, it names things slightly different, but it does follow the tarot principle. So we've got the Sultan. Does somebody want to boss it up? No, it's not. Is it that? It's the Emperor. It's actually, I should have known that, shouldn't I? Because it's the high priestess in the M. No. Number zero is the fool. Number one is the magician. Number two is the high priestess. Yeah. No. Oh, yes. It's, it's a slightly different system on this card. Anyway, we've got the sultan. Does somebody want to lord it up? The sultan is the emperor in this deck. Do they feel like it? But they're the boss bitch of everybody. But do you know what I say about the emperor? Do you know how I feel about the emperor? The emperor is somebody who likes to control situations. Is it she's controlling? He or she is controlling with money, with demands, with some kind of... Do you know what it is? Do you know what I find with the, the um, emperor? They're very traditional or back in the day. But what people don't seem to understand, and this is going to get deep now, the emperor, if it's in a masculine energy, because it could be a she in a masculine, it, she, it could be a woman in a masculine energy. What happens is they're taking on the principles of other races. 
Okay, they're taking on the principle of other races, such as, you know, one race wanting to dominate. So therefore, they do, they use a certain narrative that their women are to be tamed, that their women are to be this, especially if you're in your, your um, masculine energy. And what it is, they feel that women should be in the kitchen barefoot and pregnant, okay, and that they have to do their bidding and no, and, and, and just call it quits and don't. You know, and I asked somebody the question. I said, so you want somebody barefoot in the question? Because there's people, there's real people that really want this, okay? And so I, I posed a question one day and I said, I said to this person, so you want somebody barefoot and pregnant in the kitchen? You want to come home to a cook meal? You want to come home to somebody pampering you? Is that correct? And they said, yes. So I said, <laughs> so I said, so what if I'm working and you're working and we're both tired? What happens then? You still need to do your duty. I said, is it? Is that what you really think? So what do you do? Oh, I do all the fix the things around the house. I said, what if there's nothing to fix? Because I'm always going to be having to come home to cook. I'm always having to come home to look after children if there is children. I'm always coming home to look after you. I'm not your mother. Dead silence. <laughs> And this is what the emperor reminds me of. And this is what the emperor reminds me of. So no matter that you've done equal work and you've done equal pay and you've done the same as this person, they still expect you to be that person that is going to be nurturing them. Who's going to nurture you, though? Who's going to nurture you? So this karmic, because this is about the karmic after all. The karmic is lording it up over somebody being domineering, being controlling, but might have been called controlling them with blackmail, money, whatever, but we're going to find out. So what is influencing these emotions? They're in their emperor energy. This is what it is. They're demanding and controlling. They want what is theirs. They're not letting anybody get by. This is what this karmic is doing. They want their way and they're probably stamping their feet and screaming and, and calling to do you know what some of these people do? It's a horrible thing to say. They they might say, I'm gonna commit suicide if you not, if you leave me. I'm gonna I'm gonna blackmail me if you if I if I got some stuff to blackmail you with. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna kill myself. Oh, anyway, what is influencing those emotions? I don't know where this is all coming from today. The Aces, what the Ace of Stars. This is what's influencing this emotion. This person and their sex symbol. Is it that the karmic is in their temptation? They're trying to start this temptation thing again. Do you know, it could be just a swift action as well. What's influencing this in this situation is they maybe they even rushed in like a bull in a china shop with their controlling ways. And this is what's happening with this person. And it's repulsing your person. It wouldn't surprise me. But what is the hidden emotions or the hidden intentions here? Let's find out. <laughs> this is what I'm saying to you. This person thinks that they're the boss bitch, the boss man. Because what's happening here, the shower of coins is the king of coins. They feel that they can lord it up because they feel that they're the king of coins. Do you know what I mean? But sometimes <sighs> this person is either married to your person or wants to be married to your person. You get what I'm giving, collective. They want to be married to your person or they are married to your person, but they're making, they're, they're holding all the cards. Literally, they're holding all the cards. So what is the expectation? What is the exp expectation for this karmic? Communication with your person. Now, there's only the one of two reasons why the communication card is here. This is the Eight of Wands, okay? Uh, do you know, this is the Eight of Wands. What kind of communication is there? We'd have to figure that out, people. Why is this the expectation? Is your person going into hiding? We'll soon figure it out. But the last card is the possible outcome. The nine of coins in reverse. Oh, let me drop the mic right now. This is somebody who's actually, although they're given the image of the emperor, they are actually unstable, unreliable, uncontrollable, probably jealous, jealous-minded. I wonder if this, this deck does reversals, because I want to see what the nine of coins says here. Because this is a completely different deck. What does it say about the nine? There's the nine of cups. Where's the nine of coins? Oh, I've got to see. Well, let me see what it says. I wonder if it does reversals. Oh, let's see. When this card appears to you. <coughs> uh, no, it doesn't do reversals. 
this nine of coins is a pure positivity. Reverse. Material instability, lack of integrity regarding finances, oh, finances overindulgence, lack of self-control. Do you see what I mean? This is them wanting to have control, but in reality, this is what the comic is doing. They're out of control. Nine of coins. I want that word, please. What I got? I had to get it out because this deck is kind of different. So here's what we're gonna do. I've got another new deck. Where am I going with these new decks today? But and um, I only got this today. I love them already. I just looked at the images and I just love them already. And look what's at the bottom of the deck. Betrayal! The Ten of Swords, the past betrayal. Do you see somebody walking away from that betrayal? Is it your person walking about this betrayal? Because your person is certainly, I never watch you! I'm, I'm not even going there. I'm going to shuffle these cards again. I want to know why this karmic is in there for the Sultan. The Sultan is the Emperor. I want to know why they're in this energy. Why do they feel like they can lord it up over everybody? Why are they in this Emperor status? Why is this their current emotion spirit? Please give me the message. Thank you. Please give me the message. Why is this this person's current emotions? Let me know, spirit. Let me know. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, please give me the message. What the God, people? What the God? Let's get some cards out. I need some space, people, because we have too much of the card them. Ooh, do you know, if you did know, if you didn't know, I collect cards. So if you want to help me collect cards, <laughs> hit me up on my Amazon wish list. But the first card is things are changing, cycles are closing. This person is behaving the way they're behaving because they see your person moving away from them. Yeah. Is it that they see your person trying to balance themselves out? Let me just find one more card and then we'll talk about, yeah, the magician. Oh, no, I've got to get another card out for that. What's going on? The Ace of Pentacles. Here's what we got here. Wow. Oh, what I want, people. And look, I shuffled this deck and the ten... This still come out of the bottom of the deck and I shuffled it. That's how serious it is. Spirit ain't joking today. Here's what we got here. This person is in this current emotional state of being the emperor, the one who wants to control because they see your person moving on. This is the closing of karmic cycles. This is somebody who wants to move on and, you know, come out of this cycle, basically. <laughs> They're trying to balance themselves out. Somebody's trying to balance themselves out. Oh, but is it that this karmic is in this boss energy because they're the magician wanting a new stable beginning? Do you know what I'm getting from this? Because I'm seeing the communication card as an expectation that the karmic and your person's currently in separation. This is what I'm getting from this and that this karmic is trying to manifest your person but are doing it the wrong way by being controlling. They might be trying to entice this person. Do you see what I mean? This is the influence in the emotions. What is this about, really? Shall we figure it out, people? Let's figure it out. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance. Please tell us about the, 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 um, ace, the, the ace of staffs. So why is it influencing the, the actual emperor? Two of pentacles, balance again, or is it stability? King of Swords, is this person in their logic? Is this is what their logic is telling them to do? Because your person's thinking about you. <laughs> Look, the Empress. You, let me show you this Empress. This is this is the karmic. Look at this picture of this Empress. Don't she look overindulgent? Doesn't she look like just, damn, she almost looks like a man as well. Damn. It's possibly, I think this is more to do with, it could be possibly a baby mother this person went back to. Do you know what I mean? This person went back to a baby mother or somebody they've known from their past, somebody they've known from their previous life, somebody they got tempted by, somebody saw you as competition, but you weren't playing the game. Do you know, this, this karmic knew that your person was juggling you in their King of Swords energy, you know, their logical energy. Your person was in their logic. Your person is looking towards you, though. And this emperor is at, this empress is actually quite jealous. Look at this. Your person is strategizing to come towards you. That's madness, isn't it? That's a madness going on. I want to go deeper, people. I want to go deeper for real, for real, because we've got... The King of Swords and the Queen of Cups. Now, do you see how the Queen of Cups looks in this? She looks like, I've had enough. I really I really just can't take any more of this nonsense. I can't. I can't take any more. This person is strategizing, is juggling. 
trying to strategize and juggle, keep you in the picture, but keep the karmic in the picture as well. Why? Why? And it's almost like, look at these two characters. Look at these two characters, okay? What's influencing these emotions is the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is normally about moving forward, quick movement forward, small but quick movement. And that could be why the magician is here. Is this person trying to use her while in, in, in the, the slightest sense it's manipulation but in the darkest sense it's dark magic it's kitchen magic it's it's hulu it's obvious whatever you want to call it okay and this person do you see how they're looking it's like they're watching somebody intently while they're feeding that child do you know what i mean and is it that they're looking towards you as the pay, as the queen of cups who has got nothing to do with this is kept out of their karma and everything else and you know if you have it why not Anyway, let's figure it out because I'm going to have to do an extended with this for real, for real, because this is like even funny. So this is the person's hidden intentions, their hidden emotions. They want to be this king of Penticale. Are they the king of Penticale or is this, and do I dare I say it, is this king of Penticale who they're, they're hidden, who they're hiding from your person? Wow. That thought didn't occur to me before, but it did now. The hidden emotion, the hidden intention. Does this karmic want to go towards this king of coins or are they the king of coins? Because they're always coming out as the emperor. Do you know, the emperor is higher than the king of coins. So obviously, they, you know, is it that they want to be this all stable one? Is it just the character? Or is this somebody they're looking at? Are they looking at someone? Because look, here we go again. Somebody's watching. Somebody's watching is up in their head. It's quite stressed about the situation with the nine of wands. What is going on? Please tell me, spirit. Please tell me. Why is the king of coins here, spirit? Why is the king of coins here? Please tell me. Yeah. They want to be. Do, do, do you know what this is? Somebody's come to forward to them as good news. Come forward. Because this is about the karmic, basically. A king of cups, somebody who has great love, but um, is hiding it. The hidden intentions, the hidden emotions, what is it? But really, there's deception going, oh, you can't make this up. The lovers, yeah. Oh, speak up, you, speak up, you. Here's what we got here, people. Oh, my goodness. With this, this is the shark of coins, which is really the king of coins, okay? This is the hidden intentions. This karmic has seen somebody else who's good news. Somebody who's a king of cups. Do you realise there is a match here, though, as well? There's a couple of matches, the emperor and the empress. Well, there's, a sh there's the sultan and the empress, which is, in this deck, is the emperor. There's a couple of matches. Your person, your This karmic has got somebody else in mind. And they've been doing some, oh my God, they've been doing some Jim Screechy. Look at this, look at this. They found the King of Cups, somebody who's hiding their love for them and it's been quite sneaky, but really this person is a lover. This comic is going towards somebody else and is hiding it from your person. That's the hidden emotions, the hidden intention. Spirit is showing us what this karmic is up to. This karmic is going towards somebody else and being sneaky and deceptive about it as well because that is their that is their true soulmate. Do you know what I mean? Even karmics have true soulmates. They, you know, you could have been karmic to somebody, but to somebody else you wasn't. And so, do you know, this is like the karmic is not karmic to somebody else. Do you know what I mean? There's two pairs here. There's two pairs here. This comic has gone towards somebody else, a king of cups. But she's doing it on the sly. She's keeping it on the down low. Oh, that's the hidden emotions, hidden intentions. Now, the question is, the expectation is, is she going to actually communicate this? Or oh, what is this communication about? This is the expectation now. What is this communication about? I've definitely got to do... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Good extended people. If you want the extended, please join your Patreon. This is deep. I'm gonna have to take it further. What is this lover situation about? Why is the Empress scowling? Does she know about you and you don't know about her? Or do you know about each other? I don't know, but I want to know why the Eight of Wands is here. The expectations. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Oh. The expectation is that the karmic knows that your person wants to contact you because 
your person might have even voiced and said, do you know what a twin flame, a soulmate, a tall soul tie is? <sighs> spirit come true, spirit come true. Thank you for the confirmation. Your person is asking questions and they figured out that you are their soulmate. And they might have communicated it to the karmic. Wow. Yeah, four of pentacles. The only problem is, is that you're holding back. Or is your person holding back? Your person is holding back because of the karmic. Your person's holding back because of the karmic. The karmic's watching. Yeah, six of pentacles. They weren't being balanced with them. By holding back, they weren't being balanced. Wow. I, I don't even know what to say, people. Uh, this is madness. Here's what we got here. This is the communication, okay? Your person might have communicated to this karmic. This is the expectation. Communicate this comment, but they know who you are in their life. This is somebody that is the, a soulmate twin flame, someone from a previous life. The only problem is, is that this karmic knows that you are holding because they did something in the background for you to walk away. Do you know, I'm not blaming the karmic, but what I'm saying is, because it takes two, what I'm saying is that I'm getting the impression that this karmic has done some darkness in the background or she done some manipulation because now... You know, your person is holding back from this comic. It's almost like telling me that they're in separation and or they're about to be. Because this person was just was no give and take with this person. Like I said, they wanted to control the situation as the emperor. Do you know what I mean? They wanted to control the situation and that's what it is. So I want to see what this possible outcome is. Why is the nine of nine of pentacles in reverse, people? Why is the nine of pentacles in reverse? Please let me know. Holy Spirit, this is the possible outcome as well. This person is just unstable unreliable it's just the overindulgent as it said remember we read it earlier i just needed to know because to have that in reverse is ridiculous that come that card because this card is actually the pre-empress you realize this but this one in reverse is just oh my god why is she in reverse why is this the possible outcome spirit yeah the two of rods the two of rods is about the crossroads this person is unstable, unreliable. And is it that your person's at the crossroads or is it the karmic? Let's find out. The ace of rods. It's the karmic. They don't know what to do because they want this new beginning, but they don't know how to go about it, it looks like. Yeah, the tower. It's a tower moment. Your person probably rejected them. This could be your person rejecting the karmic as well because of their... Uh, well, I said that, didn't I? You know, it's like, let me get one more card for the tower. Yeah, the eight of cups. Somebody's definitely walked away. The possible outcome is your person has realised this person is unstable, unreliable, is an arsehole, basically. You know, and your person came to a crossroads at one point point with the two the two of wands okay came to a crossroads at one point do you know what i mean and then what's happened is your person wants to take a leap of faith well it could be one of two things either they want to take a leap of faith and walk towards you or the karmic tried to do this but realize your person didn't want them anymore and this is where the tower moments come in do you see two people at the top can't get down and somebody's jumped your person's jumped jump jump Jump. Your person's jumped. Can you believe that? Wow. And there's people up on the top of the tower. Yeah. So here you go. This is this is this is the other symbol of the tower. Your person walking away. This is nothing but detriment to this karmic. Oh what I go on, people, what I go on. Your person has walked away from this karmic. Your person has walked away. Did they find out about the sneakiness? Did they find out about the hidden, the hidden boyfriend, the hidden husband, the hidden, the hidden lover? Did they find out? Is that why they walked away? That's why the tower moment is. That's what the communication's about. We're going to find out all these questions in my extended. So, people, I'm going to love and leave you. Please subscribe, hit the alert bell so you know when I'm going to do another video. The more of you here, the more energy I'm going to pick up and the more we can get down and dirty because this is definitely down and dirty. You're, this karmic is not a no joke. Whoever this karmic is, this is a collective read. So take it if it's your story, but don't take it if it's not your story. Don't don't assume that your person is doing this by your back. This is somebody's story, though. If it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it further and check out what the hell is going on even further now. I'm going to go deeper because there's still questions to be heard. She is in her controlling mode. She's seen your person walk away. 
Who is trying to balance themselves out to be a better person, though? Is it your person? Because I see a magician here. The magician and the ace of pentacles. Is someone trying to manifest a new start and it's not working? We're going to figure that out. That's the first question to ask. There's so much more. What did, did your person find out about the actual deception? Is that what it is? Anyway, I'm going to leave it there, people. That's too much. So until next time, either you join me over on Patreon, where you come over for as little as £3, and you'll get all the extendeds that nobody else has seen. You'll get to see all the videos first. So as little as a pound, you know, or you could step it up a bit and you get some more of the content, or you can step it up even further and you get me calling you every month for readings. You can step it up in the VIP and get it recorded at the same time too. The list is endless. So come and join me over on Patreon. So until next time, people, I will see you on the other side. Nyam, nyam, ringe, kyo. Peace be on to you. <laughs>